Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Elden Ring. I'm sitting here with my peppermint hot chocolate. It is 12.26 a.m. and I am ready to play some Elden Ring. So there's three things I've been told about by helpful commenters and one I found out myself actually. Um, so I was in Elden Ring messing around with some recording se uh, settings, trying out some different things in OBS. And uh, I am actually recording on a different, some different settings this time. I don't know if it's actually going to change anything, but I've heard it's better. Um, it probably won't really change much, but it makes me feel better. But while I was doing that, I was like, huh, I'm going to go to an area really quickly that's dark and just run around and see how the uh, bitrate handles that. And I went over here to the coastal cave because I was like, this is the first dungeon I ever ran into. There's not going to be anything important here. And look! Remember? Remember you talking about coming over here to the coastal cave and how you were gonna go in there? Yeah. Oh. What are you doing here? You must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. Give the sewing needle. Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. Sure did, friend. Like a millennia ago. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? What made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress, and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Then I s suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? No, you cannot. I will not allow it now that I've realized that you're here. Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to be a seamster like like my mum. Then I suppose I Okay, so now we've continued your quest line. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's uh see what happens if we sit down. Alright, you're gone. Um I don't know where you ended up, but uh I'm at least happy I uh did that. So, I'm gonna head over to the next thing that was mentioned, which I believe is that I missed a talk with Melina. Uh, I might not be able to get it now, um, since I've had other talks with Melina since then. So, we will see. Alright, the first Church of Marika. This is where I was told there was a talk to Melina option, yes. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Hell yeah! In Marika's own words. Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin. An epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring for the age of the Erd Tree. I see. Okay, so that's some context to why the war with the giants happened. I wish when you sat down and Melina had something new to say, she just popped up and was like, Hey, listen, you're going to listen to me right now. I wish that was it, instead of hidden down here, because so often when I pop this menu up, I just don't even look at all these options. There's so many. I just go to level up and leave. We're almost there. The flame of... I'm glad I must tender my thanks to Tori. Thank okay, you. yeah, no, we've heard this. We've heard this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that was the other thing. And the other other thing... Is that, um... So... The sewer jail... Um, where is my... Where, 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 where's the... the jail... Uh... Uh, Grace is at, because I think I missed something there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it, this is it, this is it. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if that was it or not, because it didn't specifically sub say subterranean shunning grounds. 
It's weird that... I understand why they didn't, because... Th this particular area needs like a B1 and B2. Deep Root should be B2. <laughs> B1 should be the subterranean uh, shunning grounds. So, I heard I missed something here. I think I remember where it was at? Yeah, yeah, because I came here and I ended an episode off in this area, but I never actually finished it, right? Because I opened the door and just left? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 yeah, so there was something that I missed here. So, thank you for that. Because I totally forgot. That's why I like to finish areas off before I end an episode, because I know I'll do that shit. But, uh, sometimes you gotta end the episode. You can't go on for, like, five billion hours. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's proper finish this area off. So this is probably the area, uh, Shabriri was talking about. Um, deep underground. The, uh, capital. There's a frankly absurd amount of stuff under the capital. This could potentially be it, because it wasn't Deep Root. Because there's this, like, flame of madness that I'm supposed to find somewhere. And accept it into my body, my body, and do, do the, the, the chaos ending. Chaos, chaos. So, we'll, we'll see if that's, uh, what happens with this. I didn't expect another, uh, detour. I thought we kind of had run out of places to go, but... This was still in the back of my head, I just didn't know where it was. But now that we found it, things should be a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and put on... This. Oh, Jesus. Well, hello. You big doofus. Ow. Oh, you barely got away. I hate you. I just want you to know that. Die. Not the tankiest basilisks I've ever seen, but... It wouldn't properly be the depths without, uh, some basilisks, yeah? You gotta have basilisks. Does not open from this side. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? The amount of, uh, runes I'm getting from enemies here after being in, uh, that other place with all the Albanarix that give, like, 2,000 a pop is incredibly disappointing. <laughs> that place was nuts, man. Hello. Okay, I remember how to fight you, dorks. Ow. Okay, well, that was my bad. Uh, bang. Bang. Okay. You guys are not pushovers. I gotta remember that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. That actually summons projectiles. Hiya! Funny hop. Funny hop. Get him. Big horn... Ah! Big horned idiot. Ow. Uh-huh. Ooh, good one. Thank you for showing me your back. Boom, boom. There we go. Yeah, see, I get 2,000 from them, but they are way harder to defeat. Omen Baron. Interesting. They are way harder to defeat than, uh, the, like, all the Narics that give me basically the same amount. Omen Baron. I believe I've heard this particular item name mentioned in another item description before, right? Probably. Where's this thing at? There it is. Use FP to unleash rates that chase down foes. Yeah, I believe you've been mentioned before in a different item description. Uh, by new crystal people called the Omen. Da -da -da -da. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, short enough to trap once bound Moog on Earth. I don't know what... I don't, I don't know what that is. There must be a boss fight we run into at some point. Because, I don't, I don't know, Moog might be a name, but it might also be some new, like, species or something I haven't had contact with? I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Okay, so this is the level above over here that I couldn't access, right? Yes, this is this shortcut. Okay, look at us. We did it. We've successfully made it up to this place, and now I can open this door. God. See, this is why I try to finish zones off in one episode. I know myself, okay? I know myself. I know I will make these mistakes. I don't know if there's actually anything down there. I mean, let's check it out anyway, I guess. Wow, you jumped the wrong way. 
Hey. Are you gonna come up here or what? There you go. That's what I was waiting on. Bye bye. So what does this say? Illusory wall? Yeah, no, you're a liar. I did, this didn't look like it could be an illusory wall, if I'm going to be honest. Alright, so... A bit boned. We're just gonna have to go back to the underground roadside. There was that other path I haven't forgotten about. What in the world was that noise? I think one of my cats is attacking something at the window. The big doofuses. I love them, though. They're so adorable. Uh-huh. Ah. Okay. No. None of that, please. Alright, so we're gonna head... Back over here. Huh, how do I get up there? Yeah, how do I get over there? Because I can go down there with this dork. I cannot... Oh, wait, no, 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 there was this path, right? Yeah, this one. This leads over there. When I said I didn't forget about the other path, I was talking about the other path in that, like, weird vertical kind of area. That's back there. Village corpse. Just some garbage. You know. Hello. Down from there. How did you hurt me? Also, what enemy did I just lock onto over there? No hidden path ahead. No, you don't. Uh-huh. Big dead. Praise the message. Time for down. Okay, so you're saying I go down there. Okay, yeah, that links around to that. Checks out. Checks out. There doesn't appear to be anything down there that I want to look at, I think. Really, really getting tired of your throwing knives. Really sick of it, going to be honest. Okay, there didn't seem to be anything down that way. Oh! You stupid, stupid idiot. Die! You were specifically put there as a trap. At least this wasn't like a death pit. Oh my, screw your iframes, man! Oh, fuck off! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I got killed because that enemy was getting up, but they had iframes. Fuck off, FromSoft. If, it's, if they're on the ground, it's their fucking fault, okay? I can get killed on the ground. It's happened to me before. So don't give them special treatment just because you're, they're your stupid little AI babies. If they fall on the ground, I should be able to murder them in cold blood. Not my fault. All is fair in love and war and all that jazz. Stupid. I knew I would hate this area. It's basically like the light, light town in the depths had some kind of weird freakish baby and I hate it. Maybe throw the gutter into the mix too. Hate that place as well. God. Now my runes are down there and I'm just, ugh. Angry. Angry is how I would describe myself. 70,000 runes just down there. Which isn't even a lot to, anymore, to be fair. Okay, come on, you little shit. There you go, come on, get your hit. Cool. You know what, I'm gonna do the repose just because I don't like you. You'd think stabbing my katana into stone would really damage it. But, uh, it is a magic katana. So, we do have that going for us. Oh my god, I fell for the same thing again, but whatever. I was just wanting to get my shit. Fuck you guys! Come up here and fight me. That enemy is perfectly positioned to be a massive, massive asshole. And I hate it for that. Uh-uh. Guard counter, go burr. Out of here. So sick of you guys. Jeez. The last time I see one of these little shitheads, it'll it'll be what what's the word? Too too soon? Or too too late? What what I don't know. I'm sleep well I'm not sleepy, but my brain's not functioning correctly right now when it comes to that uh that particular uh bit of language. Um, alright. 
I just hate them because I hated them in Dark Souls 3 too. God. They were in Dark Souls 3. They were the little gray rat type enemies. I hated them there too. I hate them here. They all just need to die. Just throw that animation group out. Nobody likes it. Except for the people that do. Okay, what is this? Is this that door I couldn't open? That rat is moving pretty quick. Are you leading me to something? I feel like you're leading me to something. Possibly the way through. Why is it always rat? Be wary of hole. Okay, but wait. This is... We're gonna have to be careful in here. Um, lantern. Again. So we can kind of see where we're going here. Alright, and let's go see what's down here first. Gotta take it easy through here because you never know when we're gonna run into a stupid hole. I did it ahead. Hello. Don't really need you. A lot of other L uh, 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 a lot of other, but the few other LPs I have interacted with um, use their weapon arts like a lot more than I do. I just went like all in on HP, and uh, it seems like a lot of other people. We're like, nah, screw that jazz, I'm gonna have fun with some magic. I could maybe do some magic, I'm just constantly like, is it even worth it at this point? But, I don't know, it could be. This place is confusing as all hell. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I could maybe get into magic, I just... It feels like it's too late for me, basically. But maybe it's not. It'd be good for, like, getting the drop on some enemies, but... I think if I do use my FP, I want to use it more so for uh, weapon arts and things. Because those just seem more useful to me. I might also consider getting the... Uh, someone mentioned to me that no skill, if you put that on your, on your shield, I can uh, sheath my katana whenever I want without having to go two-handed, which is nice. Alright, I feel like not following the rat... Um, was a bad call here. I'm definitely not getting everything in here. I feel like the rat was leading me the correct way. Ah, not here. Uh-huh. Maybe I should leave, uh... You know? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Hello. We're gonna, um... Thought I heard something moving. Uh, we're gonna leave, um, some of these dorks. There we go. That's what these are for. They're supposed to be for breadcrumb, breadcrumb trailing. And that's what I'm doing. So now, we will know we have been down this path. I'll even leave one at like the start of this path. So I will know. Hey, we've done this jazz before. Should probably put it on my bar, but it doesn't really belong on my bar just for being used in this one particular instance. Okay, this is actually a very, very simple path. Um, so let's put another one right here. This will totally block off this entire area. Because I know I've been there. Okay, here I have not been because I have been killing all the reds. But it doesn't look like there's really anything interesting here. This... Okay, I have not went here. What do you got? I have yellow. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're good here. I'll know that that means I've been down here before. Good. Okay, this way? Done. Let's, uh, let's actually put one more right here, just so I know without having to go further in. I know, I'm wasting a lot of these, but... Okay, so we've done all of that. Should I move back and do this whole process with the stuff back here? This goes up to... Here. Okay, now let's, let's just continue down that other path first. I'm assuredly going to miss some stuff in here, even using the breadcrumb trails, but it will at least help me kind of keep track of things. So let's continue this way. This is what the rainbow stones are for. Okay. Is there anything? Okay, I hear rat. Hole ahead, therefore try left. Uh, oh, I do see hole. Why is it always rat? 
Can you jump that hole though? Or does this take you around? Hi. So this is where you ran. Uh, another hole. Seek down, it says. Don't know if I trust that. Let's go over here first. Is this a basilisk? No, this is just a giant rat. Okay, you're dead now. No more giant rat. Okay, both of these seem to drop down into the same kind of location. Which makes me think I should just go explore the other area first. I don't know. Let's go back up here. I know, this is about as confusing as it gets. Someone at FromSoft was like, I love mazes. So they made this. Why? I do not know. But they did. Alright, so this should lead me back up. Yeah, so we went that way. That's a drop, so I don't want to hit it yet, that area back there that we went to. So I want to at least check all of these dead ends first. So which way have we been? This goes up. To what? A dead end. Okay. We can leave a rainbow stone right here. I bet this is not what people expected we'd be doing today. I left off at like the Lord of Blood's palace and wait, I just realized what exactly is that place called? Dynasty Mausoleum. Mogwin. Mog. That's the name that we've been seeing in that item that I have. That must be relevant for something, right? This appears to be the exit. Okay, so no, we're not going this way either. But yeah, the mo like it referred to Mog, so Mog Win. I wonder if that's the same person, the same species, what whatever. I don't know. Okay, I am interested in finding out what the deal with that is. At the very least, we've got a little bit more context for that now. I am wondering just how far down this area goes. I can't believe all of this was inside a random ass well. This is some Ocarina of Time shit. God. Just random well, hey you go down in it and there's monstrosities down there and it just keeps going and going and going. Okay, this, I just need to go down this way. Or wait, no, not, not that way. People said go left. Here. It seems like the holes drop to the same spot, but maybe this drops to like a spot I can't get to from that other side if I just run forward. Ow. You little... I'm surprised that wasn't a grab, actually. Smithing stone five. Aha! Here's the shortcut. Hey, dork. Alright, cool. Alrighty, so now we just continue down from here. Go left. God, this place like, makes like no sense to me. Okay, and where does this lead? Are we about to enter Blight Town? Why are there so many deaths here? Oh, because Giant Pot Chan sitting over there in the corner. Yeah, Giant Pot Chan would be a problem, wouldn't he? Uh huh. Boom, 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 boom. Luckily, they do not have a ton of HP. Not for the point I'm currently at. I remember being very intimidated by you guys the first time I ran into you, but now you're not so bad. You honestly don't have a lot of HP. Ritual pot. Cool. Elevator. Grace ahead. Just taking me down. Oh, gods, of course it is. We're going down, 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 down. Maybe we're one down, swinging. Okay. There we go. Well, what is this area now? How deep does it go? Are we in Silent Hill? Had to take a little bit of a sip of my hot chocolate that's not really very hot anymore. Forsaken Depths. Well, I will now go back to that area I said I was going to go back to. Which is uh, the area that we just took the elevator down from, I believe. I just chugged the rest of my cold chocolate. <clears throat> Oh boy. 
Still yummy. Uh, would have preferred it was still hot, but uh, I got distracted by sewers and running around in poo poo. Okay. So down here, that, that dork saw me, but I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Uh, okay, so I dropped it down there last time, didn't I? But we didn't walk down this path. Correct? Or did I walk down this? Okay, no, yeah, we, we dropped last time. So I didn't even really miss much, just this item. Maybe. There might be a few more things down there. Let, let's just go make sure before I leave. What the hell do Grace Mimics even do? I have... Memory of Grace? What, what does a Grace Mimic do? Light shows the path, but without order. Okay, yeah, it's like... That, um, spell... I think it was called Guidance? Or it wasn't a spell, it was a uh, miracle. That, like... Shows you the critical path or something like that, that like nobody ever uses in these games? Where are you pointing? Are you... Are you serious? Eh. You're totally lying. You're absolutely lying. Screw you. Uh-huh. Yeah, that person's totally lying. Is that a drop I can make? Think carefully. Ah, oh, so lonely. Uh, no. Stop. Cancel. I don't- I don't want to interact with that message at all, thank you. Uh, Rainbow Stone. Can I survive this fall? It looks way too high. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, way too high. And this is just the sewer that I then ran into, yeah. I thought I saw more... Yeah, there's clearly more shit over there. I just don't know how to get to it. Okay. It's not the biggest deal. It's probably like a... You know, a rune or something. Or a grace mimic. Okay. Uh... Status... I could maybe level up, but I'm fine. Do we... Okay, I already... Yeah, teleporting counts as a rest. Behold, underground! Praise the coffin! What coffin? I didn't take no coffin. I walked down here. Okay, that person's doing a weird little spinny. Is this gonna be a boss fight? That was a... Why is it always death? First off, boss. Therefore, you don't have the right. Hmm? What now? Is this a catacomb? Hmm. Likely liar. Be wary of blood loss, but no fire. Boss ahead. Be wary of blood loss. Can't summon yet. Can I summon now? Moog the Omen. Uh. Okay. Ooh, may maybe I should put that item on. Uh, get the aggro, please. Ally. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I, I want to at least see what it does. Uh. Moog Shackle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's totally what it is. It is the... It is totally the, um... Whatchamacallit? It's the music box. It's totally the music box. I might be a bit overleveled for you now, so it's not the biggest problem, but, uh... Can I keep using it? Ooh, I can. Uh-huh. Whoop. Get in there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I remembered that. That's a cool feature for this fight. I wonder if it's limited to three, just like the music box is in Bloodborne. Oh, cool. And that was an achievement boss, even. Moog the Omen. Blood Flamed Talons. Okay. Let's check that out. Uh, create blood flame lacerations that then explode. Blood oath incantation granted by the Lord of Blood. Hey, we're going to the Lord of Blood's place next. Okay, this was good to do before we went there. Creates blood flame lacerations before the caster. 
which explode in an instant. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. After dealing damage, Blood Flame continues to build up onset of blood loss for a very short time. I find it interesting that there's um, basically an entire group dedicated to blood loss. Ooh, 189,000 souls. You know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to correct myself. We know what they are. Praise the victory. So what does this have, I wonder? I thought this was a catacomb, but no, if we got an achievement, it must be a pretty important boss. Underground tomb ahead. Try attacking? Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Great Hollow, that you? Entire zone hidden behind a chest? Erd Tree's favor plus one. I don't think I have one of... I don't even think I have the regular version of this. Raises... M oh. Oh, it's the Fap Ring slash the, what is it, Royal Dragon Ring? Oh my god, we found it. We found it. So, it's plus one. So I'll lose HP if I put this on, but gain a shit ton of stamina, as well as five equip load. What about the stamina one? What do I lose if I put it on instead of that? I lose five stamina. Whereas if I just take the stamina one off altogether, I lose 10. But this gives me an extra 70 HP, as well as five more equip load at the cost of five stamina. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that was a good get. Wow. Okay, look at my stupid dummy thick health bar. God. What can one hit me, the chariots? And maybe, like, the final boss with a grab? Holy shit, I'm so large. I'm so large. Okay, that was a very, very good get. So, thank you to Callie for reminding me about this place, because, uh... Yeah, I had totally forgotten about that. <laughs> uh, alright, boom. Uh... God, I'm getting one point out of dexterity now. Is it even worth it? My god. Mm. Eh, I could get some stamina, could wear a better shield. Who cares, man? Let's just... Dexterity, sure. Wow, one extra damage. The biggest increases. Alright, let's go down here. At this point, the big thing I get from those level ups are... The, um... Oh, hey, it's the, uh... Merchants? The biggest thing I get from those level ups is the defense. Merchants. It's the merchants. Merchant ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I'd... Yeah, I'd say so. A lot of them. It's you. You're the only one that's moving, right? Hi? Despair ahead, therefore friendship required ahead. Are you actually an enemy? Are you ready? Why are there so many dead merchants? I remember they were like a specific tribe or something, right? I don't quite remember the lore of them. But like the, the main one, Kale or whatever their name was, they tell you a bit more about it? Hey. You're not aggroing on me, so I'm not gonna fight you. Please don't be mean. Please don't be mean. Are you going to aggro on me? No. I mean, yes. Yes, you will. That one up there is just surprisingly chill. Oh my god, I have to walk over so many of them. Ugh. Don't like the music. Holy shit, there's so many dead ones. Oh, goodness gracious. Gee willikers, great balls of fire. Uh... There's a lot of stuff going on here. Wow. What a zone. Nothing in there? Why are they all dead here? In particular. What's the deal with this area? I thought the one over there was moving, but I think that's the light. Um... No likey. No likey. Hello. God, and this music is so haunting. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, sorry. You can shoot a Kano laser. None of that, please. Okay, so this is probably where the- this is probably the madness area that was teased by Shabriri. Okay, wait, now hold the phone. How in the- Do I get over there? There's clearly an item right there. Can I, like, crouch jump onto it? Crouch walk onto it? No one has set a message here. How do? It's even a purple. It's even a purple. But I can't get it. Yep, yep, we're getting the, the madness stuff. Okay, yeah, this might be where Shabriri was talking about. Yeah. Well, oh boy. I really don't like the precarious footing here. It is not something I'm enthused about. Golden Rune 11. I wonder who's the main one playing the music. Okay, this looks like it lines up. Yeah. Seek left. Frenzied's cookbook. Okay, let's let's check that out. I don't think it'll provide me any like additional context or anything, but um Uh those afflicted with the Yeah, contains techniques discovered in desperation. Frenzy flamestone. Cool. It's probably what we use the stones we've been finding here for. Sounds like this might be where it's coming from. Or not. Are you just chilling, friend? It's you. Don't you dare. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Visions of Tranquility. They're still playing, even in death. I can't believe how many bodies I have to walk over. This area is horrible. I- oh god, not the- Oh god, I hate this shit. I hate this shit so much. The platforming on coffins bullshit that they love. Uh -huh. That actually works. Color me surprised! I hate this shit. I hate this shit. I hate it in every single game that it's in. Who platforms on coffins? Huh. Okay, I managed to survive that. A lot of people didn't survive that. Okay, wait, wait, no, you're- you're doing the- Wait, why'd you go for that one? Why not this one? Oh, that one doesn't lead to anywhere. That would be a good reason why. Okay, so this is the one people died to. Huh. Okay, we're good. Not even scared. Not even scared. I'm not scared, you're scared. Good luck, oh good luck. If I fall from this height, I'm- I'm definitely boned. Huh? Okay, we made it. So far, so good. Kind of rubbing my face into the wall helps me kind of... ...control my landing a little bit. God, hitting that one up above almost fucked me. Okay, let's- let's drop a thing. If I fall from here, am I- am I boned? Yes. The answer is yes. And it looks like I have to fall to this one below me. Did you do it? Maybe I should... Maybe I should, uh... Temporarily reduce this fall damage, less sound, and... I'm gonna use these. Just in case I fall. Okay, that's the next one I have to jump to. Yes, then this one. Okay, that makes much more sense. Good. Inescapable Frenzy. Okay. Oh, gods. Item. Yeah, but how do I get in there? Like, how do you expect me to get in there? I can't crouch and walk in. So how do I get these items? Is there like a run back through where all the tents burn up and then I can can get through? I don't know. What a weird area to stumble upon. Crazy how much you can miss in this game. 
Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers. Yeah, that's what Shabriri told us to find. The Maddening Three Fingers, which I'm guessing are down here. Causes the Yellow Flame of Frenzy to blaze from the caster's eyes. The caster then latches onto foes, spreading the madness. This incantation also, also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against Tarnish. To gaze into another's eyes truly is the most intimate form of human contact. Okay. Hello, we got a little pot. What an incredibly unsettling area. Why is this just hanging out under the sewers? Hello. So... Are the merchants the origin of the madness? I don't remember if that was mentioned or not. Oh. Oh. Hate it. Hate it. That scared me. Um... You're lying, aren't you? Oh, wait, this is safety? Okay, rump, I failed. Secret ahead, praise the rolling. Okay, wow, there are actually secrets ahead, but I couldn't attack, so I was like, wait, this is weird, it's a secret area? Area of hidden path, rolling ahead, oh, wait, another one? Rune arc. Okay. My god. Holy shit, this really is some great hollow shit. What is this? Oh my god, the game just keeps going. It don't stop. Okay. Weird. Um, roll. 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 And nothing there. I'm just checking all the walls at this point. Okay, you're a liar. Okay, none of, none of those are anything. It's just that. Okay. Let there be chaos, let there be fire. Are those the three fingers? No. It's like some kind of weird... No armor ahead. Behold madness. Are these enemies like those... Okay, I thought for a second there were enemies like those enemies that, um... They, they hold shields and they basically form a wall of shields. And you have to hit them a bunch, and then they'll eventually attack you, and you can get by by killing them. This, however, is some great hollow shit. Look at this. It was even behind a treasure chest. My god. If only I had a friend, in short good luck. What does that mean? Oh, hey, the ants are back. The ants are back. Cool. <sighs> I did not expect this is what I would be doing today. Try horse, try horse. Oh my god, we can actually ride torrent in here. Try horse and then praise the message. Okay, because that's the only way to make this jump, I guess. Oh yeah, look at this great hollow garbage. Behold, seems familiar. Liar head and then down. Precious item ahead. Okay, well there's another one of those, which means we're gonna get another Newman uh, rune. Which is cool. Okay, so yeah, we are just back in deep root depths. Which makes sense. Considering. Huh. I really didn't think I made that. Okay. Yeah, there's stuff over there. I'm going this way, though. We're gonna go th this path. Okay. Yeah, what part of the... Deeper depths is this? Liar ahead, hidden path ahead. Um. Ah, this part. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this little tiny area over here. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, up here, I want you. Wow, thanks. So exciting. Thrilling, really. Okay. Important thing. Let's get back over here. So, by not doing that, I actually missed something. So, I'm going to go back up to the root facing cliffs. And we're going to drop down that way this time. And see what we get. Well, I know there's one of the queen ants down there, but that's about it. Uh, precious item ahead. Ooh. Big dead. 
Uh-huh. Uh, get rid of that rune arc. Sorry, I was distracted. There we go. Try not to die. That acid they sprayed at me actually did more damage than I thought. Why is it always dog? Look carefully, oh carefully. And then you don't have the right or you don't have the right. What, was that somebody I know? <laughs> was that an important character I just assassinated? I guess we'll never know now because I attacked them from above. Okay, so... Down... Let's see, let's make sure I'm lining this up correctly, right here. Okay, and then we can go... Over here, try jumping, but likely not here, yeah. Okay, so right here. Turn around, there is nothing. Yes, hello. Flying ant. Wow, you have a ridiculous build. Uh-huh. Why is it always don't you dare? Okay, we can go... Ah, there's an item over here. I probably want to grab this first. Uh-huh. Okay, let's get you... Dead. Uh-huh. I want to go home. Praise the magic, but whole. Okay. There's an item over there that it appears I need to drop to this to get. No. No. Force required ahead. Are you saying I torrent that shit? No way. I'll, I'll go back up or just miss the item. I'm good. Why is it always too high up? Okay, yeah, see, we can go this way and get that item, I believe. Well, no, it would require me to jump back up there. Okay, that item can go die. I don't care. I do not care enough to risk my life for a rune or some shit. This one looks slightly bigger, though. Uh-huh. Thank you. Good old horse platforming. Golden rune eight. Yeah, see, that's probably what the other thing was, too. I feel comfortable in my decision. Okay, there's a thingy over there. There's two ants right there. Uh, give me torrents. Uh-huh. Hello. You fell. Why did you fall? Why are all of you falling? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're all doing your thing. Um... Well, I mean, I guess there's not much else to do but that. There you don't. And... No, you don't. Alright, cool. What do we get? A Golden Rune 5. Boy. Boy, was that worth it. Um... Okay, so yeah, now we're over here. Yeah, this is like a above where I started, basically. Because, yeah, isn't there like a grace down there or something? Or this is where I spawned? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is that place. Okay. So, yeah, this is just above where I spawned in when I originally came here. What does it say? No item ahead, but message ahead. Okay. There's no item up there. Hello. Yeah, I think I could see these off in the distance, but I couldn't figure out how to get up there when I came here the first time, which makes sense now. Uh-huh. No, you don't. Die, please. So wait, how do I... Hmm. Uh... Can you not? There we go. So how do I actually get to, uh... The Three Fingers? If this isn't the actual path to the Three Fingers. Because this is just... This is just leading back to... Deeper depths. 
Help me, help me ahead. Why are they all saying help me? Message required ahead. Bird's eye telescope, bird's eye telescope. Why all the more beating to a pole? Likely tarnished. Behold giant tree. What are you all on about? Help me and then help me. I want to go home. Listen carefully. I want to go home. Why are they all saying this? <laughs> There's so many messages right there. All basically saying the same exact thing. Okay, is this back to the area I know? I'm not totally sure. Can't really tell. And I don't want to drop. Just in case it's not here. Yeah, where in the world am I? In relation to where I was earlier here. Yeah, no, okay, I, I don't know why there were so many messages on that particular stretch of branch, but I don't think this really goes anywhere interesting. That appears to just be a pit. Here. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Okay, yeah, and this just takes me back over here. Okay. So wait, what did I miss then? Root facing cliffs. Let's go back over there. Um... I don't know what I missed here. Do I have to do something specific to get you to respond to me? Oh yeah, we did drop down, didn't we? Um... Frenzied Flame Prescription. So yeah, what do we do down here? Did Shabriri tell me to do something in particular when I got to the place with the fingers? Because I'm guessing this is the location, right? But I don't know exactly what to do. Rolling into it does nothing. Hmm. Maybe this is something I should seek a little bit of help on online. Because, yeah, I don't remember what Shabriri said to do. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of assistance just with what exactly I do down here. Okay, I'm actually really, really glad I looked that up because uh, I would not have known how to do this. So apparently we have to take off all of our armor and then it will respond to us. But the more important thing is if I do accept the flame, I am locked into the Frenzy Chaos Shabriri ending. So I don't think I'm going to interact with whatever I see in here. Hopefully I don't screw up and accidentally do it. Like, hopefully I can talk to them. Okay, yeah, see, now there's an open door prompt. Hopefully I can interact with it and not get the ending. Because this is just opening the door. This says, finding uh, the three fingers will imbue the character with the Flame of Frenzy, which unlocks the Lord of the Frenzied Flame ending. Interacting with the Three Fingers will affect the character with large burn scars across their body, as well as yellow eyes. So, hopefully this cutscene isn't locking me in. I just want to see what it's all about. Can I walk away? No, stop it. You quit that. Uh-uh. Stop it. I don't want to- No! No! I just opened the fucking doors! I didn't- <laughs> God damn it! No, give me a choice! Ah, uh, That's frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. I just wanted to see the content. I didn't want to be locked into a certain ending. God damn it, FromSoft. <laughs> I can't I can't even make backup saves in this game because that's not allowed. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, this is my ending now, I guess, huh? Didn't expect Sinner. I didn't expect it fucking either! God damn it! I didn't know that was actually, I thought that was just 
opening the door. The wiki just says, Finding three fingers will imbue the character with the flame of frenzy. And then it says, Interacting with the three fingers will also affect the character with large burn scars across their body. I didn't know opening the goddamn door meant that. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, Shabriri told me. Hey, go down there and do the thing. I just wanted to see the stuff. I didn't want to lock myself into a certain ending. God damn it. God damn it. Maybe I still have a choice. I don't know. This is not the ending I wanted, but I just wanted to see stuff. I didn't want to choose one way or the other. I didn't know I was making a choice there. Once again, this would have been a fantastic moment. Um... I know FromSoft doesn't like to do it, but it would have been a good moment to be like, Warning, you are about to make an important story decision. I don't know. That breaks some people's immersions, but I would rather have my immersion broken a teensy bit than get locked onto a path that I don't want, with no way to get out of the path besides playing through another 100 hour playthrough of this game. Because I can guarantee I'm not going to be very happy with this ending. It seems stupid, and I don't like it. I should have just not done it. But I was like, no, content though. I gotta at least see the thing. I thought I could walk in and like accept its blessing or something. Not walk in, get into a cutscene where I can't choose anything and then the thing just gropes me. <sighs> I'm only a little bit salty. Only a teensy bit salty. Maybe even though I'm inflicted, uh, infected, uh, infected with madness, can- You know what, let me look that up. Am I like stuck on this ending now? Yep, yep, it says right there in red. I should have read further down. Meeting with the three fingers will lock you out of all other endings, all other ending choices. Unless... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Unless Mikola's needle is used at... Uh, a character I haven't met yet, Arena, at uh, the Crumbling Farm Azula, which I think I have been to with one of my, uh, sword, my imbued Swordstone keys. This removes the Frenzied Flame and is a permanent reversal. Okay, so I'm not totally locked in. I can fix it. And I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to. Um, okay, once we... You know what, let, let's look up a little bit more information about this, I think. Because I don't want to be locked into this, and if there's a way out of it, I want to know. Um... Bleh. Uh, it's a consumable item. Most consumables grant various effects. Uh, da, da 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 Capable of subduing the Flame of Frenzy. Where to find it? It can be obtained after completing Millicent's questline. And returning the unalloyed green or gold needle to the Scarlet Ionia. Okay, okay, I'm not reading any more of this. I'm potentially getting spoiled by things. Um, alright, so... This is un... Okay, well that's not fun. Uh, this, this is, this is the trouble with looking this stuff up, but... I don't want to be stuck in the ending. All I basically got was a name, which was a name I've already been spoiled on anyway, because it's one of the most popular boss fights in the game, as far as I understand. And, uh, I'm getting through this game at a glacial pace compared to everyone else. But at least I know there's a way to get rid of this stupid flame shit. At least I know that. That's maybe why they made it so easy to get infected with it, because there was a way out of it. Group ahead, but no attacking ahead. Okay, yeah, so I just shouldn't fight them at all. Alright, yeah, I was a little salty, um, but, you know, shit happens. I think we're good now. Wary of jumping off, but hidden path ahead. What? Where's that lead to? Down there? No, that is, that's not a hidden path, that's just, a uh, stuff we've already seen, I do believe. I also believe I'd die. Unless you're talking about, like, here or something? You can't be talking about this, right? Oh my god, you might actually be. No? Okay, never mind. Or you're talking about over there. I don't know. Okay, I was salty for a little bit about that, but now that I at least know I can get rid of it, I'm, I'm happier. I'm happier knowing that. There is a way to cure myself. 
down required ahead, Newman's Rune. Okay. I'll consider going down there, just give me a sec. Waiting for all of these doofuses to clear out. So, okay, there's probably stuff up there. Okay, what happens if I go down here? It doesn't look like there's actually anything. I'm going to be honest. I don't think down is required ahead. I don't think down's required ahead at all. Okay, so... Is that a giant... Be wary of close quarters battle. Okay, well... Uh-huh, none of that, please. Owie. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go ahead and equip this. So you can be bled. Uh-huh. Wow, you're really bad at aim, friend. Wary of monstrosity. Don't worry, I was. Stanching boluses. What is over here? Bunch of you worshipping. Stone sword key. No, you don't. Yeah, let's jump down right here. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I mean, Shabriri did warn me about the thing. Uh, getting, getting the eyes of madness and everything. And it seemed like it was definitely going to happen if I went down there, but I just wanted to see what happened. And I would probably be more salty if I hadn't looked the thing up to know that there's a way to get rid of it. So, now that I know there's a way to get rid of it, I can be like, okay, cool, we saw the content, and we're probably going to see even more content, because, uh, I might have to look up someone's quest line to do it, um, to make sure I get the item that I need. I was just going to be real tilted if I got... Honestly, the bad ending is in kind of a crazy hidden place. I feel like a lot of players just don't even find the three fingers at all, despite it being mentioned. So I'm at least happy that I found it. Even if I did get infected with it. I don't know how you were supposed to know to take off all your clothes. Or all your armor. Whatever you want to call it. I? Uh-huh. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah, you weren't so bad. Wait, excuse me? I just got 6,000 runes for you? Crazy. The old friend. Wow, why why were you guarded by that person? Oh dear. Am I, I, Are you here as a customer? I sure am. Uh wow, you sell some interesting items. How many do I have? Number held eleven? I don't think I need any more of those, so I'll hold off on that. Yeah, you don't really sell anything I care about, friend. Sorry. Okay. Bye bye, sorry. Wait, you're summoned again? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, you're quite scary. I'll give you that. I don't know why you summoned again. Just because I walked past your pool of blood? Do they always summon when I walk past the pool of blood? Fleeing ahead, therefore praise the message. Lord, oh lord? Lord's rune. Okay, cool. Very, very neato. Be wary of ambush. Hello. Uh-huh. Okay, you're in like a parry stance, I'm guessing that was. Uh-huh. Parry stance? Yeah, no, I recognize that. I know what you're doing. Nope. Uh-huh. Out of there. Ooh. Heal up. Okay. Okay, I'm really glad my, uh... My, my moon veil stopped you there. Precious item ahead. Well, I need to get in there, obviously. Hello. 
Smithing stone eight. That's not that precious. I'll be honest. Okay. Um, over here. That's where I came. That is not where I came from. A lot of these dorks down here, though, as well as the gold centipede. Gotta collect those. That's like the super rare. Yeah, great ghost glove wart. That's the crazy one of those. Bye bye, dorks. Okay. Well, now that we've done that, while wow, you're using the crazy whirly gig saw. Hey, dork. Uh-huh. No, you don't. Let me go back up here. Can I have your weapon? Do I already have your weapon? It seems like a very bleed-heavy weapon, which I like. But Moonveil might just be better. Uh-huh. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, nope. Let's sit. Jumped over the throwing knife. Kind of a badass move, I'm not gonna lie. Checkpoint ahead. Ooh, checkpoint, you say. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, we've been- Oh my god, they're all walking up here. Because <laughs> I aggroed them. Okay, uh, let there be ranged battle. Grace ahead. Ooh, cool. First off, grace, and then time for summoning. Uh, could this be a brief- brief, uh, brief respite, but first seek whole? Okay, we're good. I wonder if this is going to be the boss fight, possibly? Maybe I should spend my runes? Oh, hello. You have inherited the frenzied flame. I didn't mean to! You are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you. As sure as night follows day, such is my duty for allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Goodbye, Torrent. No, Melina, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was gonna have that effect. Oh, hopefully you'll come back if I cure it. I didn't know. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that, that does bum me out immeasurably. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna miss out on some things with Melina now, or what. But, uh, yeah, that, that bums me out a lot. Do I have enough to... Here's rune 4, here's rune 2, two Newman runes. I think those were 20k. I don't think I have enough. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. I'm at a nice 400 runes. I don't want to use a bunch and then get to the boss fight and lose them or something. Okay, a ton of Alban Arcs. Try defeating one by one. Another grind spot. Uh, hello, dorks. Uh huh. Oh my god. Okay, and it even has one of these guys over here. Owie. Okay, you're coming over. Uh-huh. I'll kill you and then worry about the other dorks. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Owie. You hurt a little bit. You have, like, little... <laughs> they do! Look at them, they have, like, little devil horns. Let me see if I can ragdoll the body in such a way. Yeah, I don't know if the regular ones did, but these have like little devil horns. That's kind of funny. Boom, boom. You can get a good look at them there. No. Uh-uh. Quit it. Cease. None of this, please. There we are. Oh, hey. There we are. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, pressure slide him ahead. Where? Up there? Is that why I defeated all of these enemies? Okay, yeah, probably this. There's still no mimics in this game. Oh, hey, another one. Cool. Back item, yeah. Aha! There we go. Golden Rune 13, take it. Okay. What else is up here? That looks like a very important thing for me to interact with. And that appears to be an elevator. Blood loss ahead, therefore try item crafting. Uh, time for striking? Okay, don't know what... Does it mean I could break it with a strike weapon? I find that I'm doubting that. Uh, alright, so they said blood loss ahead. Time for, you know... So, I'm thinking I need to make the stanching, staunching. Can I not? Oh god, do I not have those things? I thought I had those things. Like, the ability to craft them. I guess I don't. Luckily, I have a whopping five. Great. Um, I might just have to deal with the blood loss. We will try, though. Could put on some armor that increases my resistance to blood loss, I suppose. I think I naturally have a high resistance to it anyway, just because of, uh... Let's see, it says there's gonna be blood loss, so... What is the stat that dictates blood loss? Is it resistance? Yes. Okay, so I need things that are high in resistance. Which, apparently, Blythe's armor is... High... Or, sorry, robustness, not resistance. Yeah. Robustness. Okay, so my current armor is already pretty good for that. Um, maybe I put on the thing that, uh... Not this. Uh, this. Slightly raises attack power when there is blood loss nearby. It doesn't even say it has to be mine. So does it... Does it work no matter what? That'd be funny if so. Uh, maybe I take off the boost guarding ability thing and also put on... I have one that raises my attack damage when there's blood loss nearby, right? Slowly restore HP. Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Yeah, maybe I put these two things on going in here. Because if you're going to be hitting me with blood loss, and I mean, I'm going to be making you bleed, it'd probably be pretty helpful. Alright, we're good, I think. I have my items on. Let's go. Oh boy, um, I've considered, can I take off, oh my god, okay, I can. I can take the Ashen one off since I never use it. It seems like a good call to me. We've seen one of those before, like an egg with a hand coming out of it. Where have I seen that? I don't like this mask, it's creepy. Okay, this looks like a very important boss. Lord of Blood, are we here? You must abide alone a while. Dynasty! 
Interesting. Okay, that's Mikola. Moog Lord of Blood. So wait, what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, one sec. I want to see if this works on you too. Boom. Let's see if it does. It does. It does. It also works on you. Uh huh. It also works on you. Screw you, man. Oh, okay, only once though. Oh, well, let me try it one more time. Okay, yeah, it only works once on you. You're a little bit, uh, stronger. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're going down pretty easily. I got a pretty good amount of hits off of that one thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I don't think it's coming, friend. <laughs> Holy shit! 420,000? Oh my god, I annihilated that boss. So the shackle worked, but it only worked once. It didn't work three times like it did against the other one. The other interesting thing to note about you is... Uh, you were an omen. This apparently over here is Mikola. I thought Mikola was going to be at the Halig Tree and possibly be a boss. Huh. Okay. Mug's Great Rune and Remembrance of the Blood Lord. Cool. I want to go home. I want to go home. Yeah, that was, uh... God, I'm really overleveled. I don't know how much these actually helped. It seemed like I was doing a ludicrous amount of damage and was just building up bleed on that boss like crazy. You'd think the boss based around bleeding would be resistant to it, but uh, evidently not. I like didn't even have to block once. Also just my mimic sitting there swinging too. It is... I will, I will say it is much easier to break this game than it is any previous FromSoft game, I believe. It's way easier to get over leveled um, it's way, way easier to have a build that is broken, and with the spirits, it's way easier to break the game. I don't particularly care. I see how people that really, really love challenge would, um, care. But it doesn't really bother me that much. I didn't even really have to interact with that boss at all. <laughs> I should have slowed down at one point and given them a chance, but... I don't know, I was kind of just astonished by how well I was doing, so I expected there to be a second phase, but there wasn't. Am I just, like, ludicrously overleveled? I might just be ludicrously overleveled, which I'm about to be even more ludicrously overleveled. Oh boy. Okay, well that's another... Great Rune, right? Do we have them all now? So... I have five, and Ranala's is missing. There was only supposed to be six, right? Um, so what does it say about... Oh yeah, yours isn't listed here yet, because it's not perfect. Uh, okay, yeah, so there are six. Moog's Great Rune. Seek the Divine Tower of East Altus, which stands by the Great Bridge from Landell's Eastern Ward. Wow, I gotta go back to East Altus and activate this one too? What about the one that's out in the middle of nowhere? I am shocked by how easily you went down. I'm starting to wonder if there's going to be any boss in the entire game that's going to be much of a challenge for me yet. If this keeps up, I may just start not summoning my my mimic. Okay, is 50? It is. Okay, that seems to be the limit on dex. So we're gonna have to start putting points into something else now. 50 dex, 50 int, 60 vigor. Um, I don't know what. Oh my god, I have another level two. Yeah, that's right. Um. How much better is that other shield that I want you? It gives me an extra point of guard boost. Not crazy interested. Um, I would be interested in just looking in my chest to see what other shields I may reasonably be able to get to in the rest of my playthrough. Just to make myself even more dummy powerful. 
Uh, let's see here. So 16, 21 on this one. It doesn't even give 100%. This is the one I really would like. 24, 36, 32, 34, 26, 61 requires 28 strength. The ant skull plate would be neat. Uh, jellyfish great shield. Yeah, I mean, I think I could maybe make my way to some of these. And I'm not super interested in putting anything into endurance. Although I might need to at some point to be able to even equip a heavier shield. Let's just put it up to 16 for now. 16 strength. Now I can equip a uh, new shield. We can put the brass one back on. Which has one higher point of stability and slightly better resistances to uh, everything else. Cool. Yeah, alright, we're back to this. Alright, Mikola, what's up with you? God, oh god. There's not even anything to do up here. I thought I would maybe get an item from you or something. First off, well done. Uh, praise the rump. Well done, oh well done. No item ahead, but visions of tranquility. Alright, well that's another area crossed off the list. Cool. You were not bad at all. In pr that's- you were an imprisoned merchant. That's why you were here. I am still shocked by how many runes I got for that. 420,000 is the highest amount I've gotten for anybody yet. That is absolutely ridiculous, especially considering how quickly you went down. But holy shit, my build is busted. Like, the only thing I can assume is that I was supposed to fight this boss at like... 20 or 30 levels lower or something. I just seem grossly overpowered. Whatever, it's a it's a feel good feeling. Um, let's go back to the table. Well, at least we've got we got through two zones this time. So, what do you say now? So there's only a few runes left, right? Uh oh, here we go. About the uh, Lord of Blood's cocoon. I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. <laughs> Law of Causality. Well, that is... That is straight up something uttered in Berserk. Retaliates upon receiving a number of blows. This is an intelligence incantation. One of the incantations of the Gold Order Fundamentalists. Yeah, okay, yeah, the Fundamentalists, yeah. One of the key fundamentals. Manifests a small ring of causality within that allows the caster to automatically retaliate upon receiving a certain number of blows. The fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Causality is the pull between meanings, that which links all things in the chain of relation. So I just do like a little burst of damage once I take a certain amount. I could actually use this. I could actually use this. I don't know how good it would be because... I don't know how it scales. Well, it's not going to scale well because, yeah, that's the problem. It doesn't require faith to use, but, well, what, don't I have a, uh... I have one of the, uh, seals that uses intelligence instead of faith. I think it's the fundamentalist one, actually. I would just like to see it in action. Oh, yeah, how's Dung Eater doing? Since I kicked your ass. Oh, hey, you're back! Hey, what's up? I kicked your ass. There you are. You warded off my blessing, despite the curse stirring within you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me. You were weak. You are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. 
Okay, that's an interesting conclusion to come to. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse. Again and again. Until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces. And my one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed. And countless I have defiled. And soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children. Who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile. And bless in my stead the wrong fools. My fate was the grandest. Most brilliant of them all. My corporeal flesh lies in the sewer jail, but give it your blessing until it could. Okay, so no, I'm not going back down there to do that because that sounds awful. So, uh, no, it's gonna, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Um, alright, so, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Why don't we? Uh, let's just go ahead and leave. So, what now? I... I think the Halo Tree is it. I believe that is it. There's obviously some catacombs and stuff scattered about, but uh, I believe as far as main stuff goes, this is it. Um, I also definitely don't want to do the catacombs now because I definitely don't feel like the game is catching up to me in um, terms of difficulty. I do still need to go do uh, this. We need to go activate Moog's rune. Oh yeah, there was also more things I could say to Gideon. More information I could give. Maybe I should do that. Now we activate you. I still don't know what that isolated tower does. Moog's great rune. Increased bleed damage. Increased bleed damage. Grants a blessing of blood? This blood grants a blessing of blood to summon phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Moog and Morgot are twin brothers, and their great runes are naturally similar. Okay, yeah, because you were also an omen, but Moog's rune is soaked in accursed blood from his devout love for the wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. A blessing of blood to summon phantoms. So that's like a multiplayer item. Yeah, it's like a multiplayer item, I don't really care. They get a special thing upon successful invasion that I don't really care about. Okay. Um, not really crazy interested in that. Let's go back and talk to, uh, Gideon, I think, and, uh, impart some more of our wisdom to the old, uh, bastard. Hello? So, yeah. So that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers, let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Fever's cookbook. Um, okay. Let me uh, look at that really quickly. Uh, where is that even listed? Right here. Bewitching Branch and Sleep Pots. Thank you. Well. So do I have... Uh, so I would expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Ah. Uh -huh. If the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely. But with the Haley Tree as it is, I suppose Mikola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. 
A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. Black Flame's protection. Okay, so clearly I was supposed to give you that information in reverse order because you keep talking about maybe that means Mikola's. And you're like, never mind. Don't listen to me. We already know where Mikola is because I told you that first. Um, but you did confirm that Melenia is over there. And uh, when I was talking earlier about the, I need to stop reading this because it's, you know, it's talking about boss fights. Um, that was the boss fight that was talked about. There's a characters whose side quest we need to do, and after I beat Melenia, we can get some item that allows me to get rid of the Flame of Chaos or whatever. So, cool. Very, very cool. There are four more demigods, yet Mikola of the Halig Tree. His twin, Melania, Luna Princess, and Rania saw here. If you should learn, I'll trade you. We both did as such. Okay, okay, I've already found all of them except for Melania. So, uh, let's check out this new incantation I got, and then we'll go ahead and end things off. Increases physical damage negation. Summons Blackfire within, increasing physical damage negation. However, Sacred Flask and other forms of HP restoration are impaired. The Apostles were all embraced by the Glum eyed Queen. The Black Flame was their armor within. Hiccup there, sorry. Okay, well, um, I'd say this was a pretty... <gasps> Eye-opening episode, because <laughs> I got I got crazy crazy eyes now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end things off here. It seems like all we have left is this Farum Azula place that I've seen, uh, because we we did this whole thing over here with our imbued store, uh, sword keys at the Belfry. Um, yeah, the four Belfries, and uh, this. So these are the two remaining areas um, that I have yet to go to. I don't know what Melina's going to do with me. Well, will Melina even be there at the giant thingy now? Like, how do I even finish the game at this point? Wait, well, you know what? No, no, no. We gotta go see. Will Melina even talk to me over here anymore? Because she was giving me the option to do things here. But what happens if I go here now? Will Melina just not talk to me? Listen to the sounds of flame. Okay, so they give you an option to do it without Melina. Okay, interesting. That makes sense. I may have just lost M Melina as an ally. Maybe, maybe she'll come back once I cure myself. I don't know. I didn't know what I was getting into. I just wanted to see the new area, Melina. I apologize. But... With that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Elden Ring off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.